Hello and welcome to another Spark AR tutorial video. In this video we'll be looking at segmentation, how to split the screen into four to allow us to have basically four copies of our live feed. So this is a very simple effect to achieve but there are a few little things we need to consider. So I'm going to start off by creating our rectangle. So I'm going to go to 2D objects rectangle and this will also create our canvas for us like so. And I'm going to want to select this rectangle and make sure my pinning is set to the top most pin point. Like so, this is just a pivot point, so it pivots at the top, which is what we need to set it to the topmost corner. I'm now going to go to my patch editor, so view, show hide patch editor. And with my rectangle selected, I'm going to click on the little arrow under properties next to the size. So this will bring in our size values for our rectangle. I'm now going to go to device, drag my device into my patch editor. So I should have my object, screen size, screen scale and safe area inserts available. I'm going to be using the screen size value I believe. And I'm going to click and drag from here to bring up our patch window. I'm going to add a value patch and I'm going to select this value patch and make sure it is set to vector 2. So we're taking our width and height of our screen so we can now start to divide this up as many times as we want. So with my value selector I'm going to click and drag from the that patch and add a multiply. Select this multiply patch and set this also to be vector 2. So now we have our screen size on our x and y axis uh, shown. And we're using, using a multiply not a divide is uh, basically we're going to be multiplying by the value of 0.2.5 which is a quarter of our screen. If we try to use divide it actually enlarge it four times rather than shrink it four times. So I'm going to change the x value to be 0.25 and the y value to be 0.25. I can now link this multiply up to my rectangle. So I should now have this little quadrant here, which will be a quarter of my screen size. So I can select this rectangle, making sure the pinning is set to the top corner, top, which it is. Select the alignment, click on the top and select left most pinning. So now it's pinned to my corner of my screen like so. I'm just going to rename this rectangle to be top left. I'm going to duplicate this, rename the duplicate to be top right. And I'm just going to basically make sure I've got two of, I've got four of these um, rectangles created. There we go. So I'm now going to select these four additional rectangles, select the size value on the patch and make sure all of these are also linked to my multiply patch here. So this will create four different rectangles which will all be a quarter of our screen size and now I simply need to select each of these rectangles and pin them to the corresponding corners. Using the alignment tool. So I now have these four planes here. Currently there's no material on any of these so I could now go to select one of my uh, rectangles Go to properties, materials, click on the plus to create a new material. Select this new material and I'm going to make sure that the shader type is set to be flat. So if I want to now get a live feed of my um, action, I go to camera, texture extraction, select the plus up next to that. Select my material, select the texture to be my camera texture. And now if I was to select these other four planes and apply that material to them, I would now have four uh, live feeds. So if I change it to the inbuilt webcam for a second, so now you can see I have four versions of myself. 
If I wanted these to have different effects applied to them, I can control each material individually. So I could duplicate my material here. I could then bring this material into my patch editor and add a different look value. So again, there's a, other videos on my channel that actually go through look values and how we can color correct material. Uh, but for this purposes of this, I'm just trying to speed this through a little bit. So I'm just going to instead just use the fuse just to show you what I mean. So I'm going to make this one a little bit red. And let's say the top right will be this duplicate material. So as you can see, we can kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. I could create a variety of different effects that apply to each quadrant. Uh, you can also use segmentation. So if I was to want to segment myself from the background, I can still apply that. Although I would probably want to have an extra rectangle, which is the size of the width and height of my device and just have that as a solid, which would be my background replacement, um, or something else. So I might actually want to, if I wanted different backgrounds under each quadrant, I would duplicate these and have a different image with the extractor background on. Is there many ways about doing this? Again, it depends on what you're trying to achieve, really. Let's do this like so. There we go. And now I can apply these different materials to each of these quadrants. And because they're four different uh, rectangles, essentially, I can still go into these rectangles and I can still adjust things like their rotation. Oop. So if I see if I adjust the rotation here, it's actually going to start zooming it in a little bit. Uh, likewise, if I try the scale, I can make that scale. I can still force the scale to fill up, so I could have the stretched look. But again, this overwrites what we're doing in our patch editor. So if I wanted to control this more, I would have to do it within my patch editor properties. Okay. So hopefully, this kind of helps and shows you how you can split your screen into four quadrants or more. And bear in mind, obviously, if you want to split it into more quadrants, you need to divide that by the number of times you're going to be duplicating it. So for 0.25, it's basically quarterize or uh, divide the number of quadrants by 100. So if half would be 0.5, etc., etc. And we're using the multiply rather than divide, like I said earlier. If we use the divide, we'd have to add it on top of the one value, um, but that can get a bit more complicated. It's easy to use a multiply and a divide value that way. So I could still always ever like that so I could have quadrants that are thinner on one side fat on the other just by changing one of these appropriate values hopefully this helps like I said this was a very very quick tutorial just because somebody requested on how to be able to do this uh, please remember to check out our spark AR playlist if you like what I do like comment and subscribe and I'll see you again soon goodbye